Morning, Camilla. How's your morning so far? Good, how's yours? I can't complain, I can't complain. There are little cars out there? Uh, I live right over there, I just <laughs> turned on. I'm hoping um, it's not too terrible out there. So. But either way, the car's doing all the driving, so I really can't say anything. That's true. You ever experienced the uh, full self-driving that Tesla has? No. I know my dad used to have one, but I don't think he ever showed me. Yeah. Well, you're experiencing it right now. I'm not no touching, way. not touching the steering wheel, the accelerator, the brake. It's uh, gonna take us to our destination. Hopefully, you know, if it, anything bad happens, I'll take over. But I've been doing this for a few months now, and this thing just does all the driving. That's so nice. Yeah. So you said your dad had a Tesla. Yes, he used to have one for a couple of months. And, mm. I mean, I don't I think he was too scared of putting it <laughs> still driving. Well, me, personally, I you know, I wouldn't do this haphazardly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not just going to just drive for Uber uh, and, and put anybody in danger. I've been using it myself, taking, in, taking my dog to the dog park, going to VA appointments. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so amazed that it drives better than I do. And I wanted to really get a... A greater idea of what Tesla could and could not do mm -hmm. when it comes to you know actually having like a robo taxi imagine if I'm not even here right yes. I just send my car picks you up you can play whatever music <laughs> watch whatever TV or talk on the phone you know what I mean do yes. business if I'm not here you have a lot more privacy Yes, that's true. so I want because I'm invested in Tesla and I just want to see if they're able to do this manage it be safe and Eventually, I'm going to not be here. That's You're hopefully try to what. Send it without, without a driver. Well, I can't do it right now. Mm -hmm. Tesla is still improving the software, but I'd say a year from now, my mom is about to be 70, and I don't want her driving anymore on 288 and Westheimer yeah. and stuff. If I can just send the car, and the car drives better than me, <laughs> right? That she wouldn't need a car anymore because I would, whenever she needed to go somewhere, I was like, I'm sending the car, mom. And it would just go get her, right? Yes, that's true. And if I wasn't doing that, it could be making money. Like, it's doing all of this driving. <laughs> that's right. I keep looking at the steering wheel. It's just, you're not touching I'm it. I'm not doing anything. And I'm just here, like, if I know what good driving looks like. And I know when I'm, when it feels unsafe. And I'll take over if I ever think it feels unsafe. Yeah. But I have, my past few months I've been doing Uber. Yeah, this thing, it, it's kind of like. It feels like cheating. Like yes. Uber, Uber should not be paying me to do this, uh, but they are. So I can't complain. That's great. Actually, yesterday I think I saw a video of the self-driving cars. I was like, huh. Speaking of which, <laughs> the cameras—that's what they're here for. I'm I'm monetized on YouTube because uh -huh. people watch these videos. I blur out my passengers' faces, but the conversations. I just want to get the natural reactions to how they respond to the car doing so. I'll put this on YouTube eventually. Like I, I do one Uber ride per day, and I'll probably do like ten to fifteen. So within the next month or so, <laughs> you might actually be <laughs> featured you know, on my channel. That's funny. But yeah, I'm just trying to get as many people exposed to it, and those that do watch the YouTube channel, they're like, "Oh, that's crazy, right?" Like a lot of people just don't know that I'm never driving again. <laughs> If that's, I can help it, I'll never drive again. That's true. That's just so funny. Well, yeah. it, it's great, actually. Like, I still can't believe it that you're not moving anything. It's just a car. And I've been testing the software for about well, almost three years now. And three years ago, my wife was like, that's dangerous. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's interesting, right? And I'm, I've watched it progress kind of like a student driver, right? Mm -hmm. A 15-year-old with their permit. They're not going to be the greatest driver, and but they're going to grow over time. They're going to pick up things. Yeah. And to watch the software pick things up, like Tesla will send me an update in my garage. Like overnight, my car will be like, update. It updates more than my phone does. 
and uh, the software just keeps getting better and better and better and I'm to the point where this thing's better than me now like I, I can't believe where it used to be to where it is now it's mind-boggling yeah. I, I, it's been in sci-fi films, right? I think about Will Smith and iRobot yeah. and the cars driving itself, TV shows. I didn't, yeah, not in my, you wanted to see flying cars and things like that, but it's like always far-fetched. And now this, city streets, highways, I take this thing downtown to the airport, country roads, like even back there, you know, the internet can be a little spotty back there on Katie Hockley. It doesn't need the internet to drive. It's just doing what it's supposed to do. It's crazy. The way it merged into the, into the freeway right now is, wow. And I don't have to worry about, like, that's a stressful scenario, right? Merging onto the freeway, exiting the freeway, worrying about whether or not this, this car is being a you know, bad driver, uh -huh. you know, like expletive there, right? I'd call them something else if I'm driving because of road rage. I have no more road rage. I don't worry about my blind spots. Like, I know this thing is going to do the safest thing in any given scenario. There has been so many times I've had an Uber uh, passenger and another car would swerve into our lane and the software gets out of the way and just keeps moving. It doesn't get angry. It just does what it's supposed to do and then goes from point A to point B. That's it's, amazing, that should be. Yeah. I, yeah. Never have to worry about an exit like I'm supposed to. That's another thing, yes, because I'm guessing it's following the, the GPS. The navigation, right? Yeah. So Uber sends the GPS coordinates to my car automatically. So I just press a button and my car knows exactly where you want to be. It's going to navigate its way the best way. I mean, if this was a road closure, it would just reroute and take the next exit and, and double back, right? So it's just doing what a human would normally do in any given scenario. There'll be like construction blocking parts of the road or there'll be even be policemen directing traffic from an accident. Yeah. The car stops, it'll do what it's supposed to do, like go around the police officer, obey those hand signals. I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes it's a little slow. Like yeah. it's it's assessing everything, but for the most part, it's just. Cr they think I'm driving and I'm not. I'm just watching the car. Yeah, that's what I was gonna things. say. If I would have just sit here, been on my phone, I would have never guessed that it's just driving itself. And I'm you're. I want to say closer to my hundred and tenth Uber ride since I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. I only do it part time. And part of me wants to give them that experience of me not being here. So I try to blend into the seat and be as not here as possible. <laughs> and some notice and some don't. And the people that watch my YouTube channel, they're like, you need to talk to them. They don't even <laughs> know the car is doing everything. And I'm like, I really wouldn't have noticed. So that's why I mentioned it early and, and see, because I think it's interesting enough. Like, it really is. Typically, I you know want to give everybody their privacy, their peace, and if I'm not here, I, to me that's the beauty of the transportation. And imagine if Tesla doesn't have to pay me to be here, how much cheaper this ride is. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about an Uber ride that's gonna, I don't know what it costs, but I know what Uber pays me, and I, I know that's a fraction of what you guys have to pay. Yeah. And when Uber, uh, <laughs> Uber is, having a tough time in Austin right now because Waymo, Waymo, which is still kind of expensive, about as expensive as an Uber, but there's nobody in this seat for a Waymo. And Tesla just started up there as well. And they're like cutting the price in half of everything oh. up there. Think about it, your rides can be infinitely cheaper. It'll make sense to ride hail like for the first time ever, because right now I'd, I'd still think Ubering and owning a car, it's like comparable. Yeah. Right, there's some benefits to owning a car, and there's obviously some benefits to not having insurance and maintenance. Right, think about these Teslas, they don't have any maintenance. I might have to change the tires in the next 15,000 miles, or if something chips my windshield. But what's an oil change? What's a spark plug? Things like there's no maintenance here. I don't, have, I don't have to pay for gas. I woke up this morning and took the car out of the garage with a full tank, basically. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so 
it only made sense to try to do this and expose more people to the technology. Um, I'm not gonna show up about this. I'm gonna hey. go to work and I'm gonna tell my coworkers, guess what? Hey, if you ever think about getting a Tesla whenever you get a chance, they're actually kind of affordable too. Yes. Now, where are we headed? It's gonna keep going. All straight. the way in the back? Wow, yeah. the car knew what to do. I, that's, <laughs> the, that's the only part is like, it doesn't know the nuance of uh -huh. where it exactly needs to be. So are we going to the OBGYN then? No, it's this one, it's a door right here on this side. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. It's right here. Oh, mm -hmm. I will stop you right here. Thank you, Camilla. Thank I appreciate you so the ride. Much. Thank you for showing me this, it's really, really interesting i try not to talk to my other drivers because i got my phone but hey i just have to mention it and if, if if i get the vibe that i was like all right i should leave her alone <laughs> i'll do what i can thank you have a good day you too camilla thank you